Hello, 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 hello. Live on Twitch, if you didn't know. If I didn't know, if Twitch didn't know, if you didn't know. Just to confirm it so everybody knows. You're live on Twitch. I haven't been doing this for some time. It's been like two or three weeks. Jeez, I might have forgotten completely how all this stuff works. So today, we're going to play on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. Could be playing on 1.14, but eh, it is kind of buggy. And the last time I streamed it, it was problematic. Chunk loading issues and whatnot, which apparently are resolved in the 1.14.1 update. But we'll see about that. All right, let's get rid of these shaders. Just for now. Pinky Bear in chat saying, hey -o, how's everybody doing today? Doing pretty good, Pinky Bear. Doing pretty good. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hey, there we are. Right, I also haven't been on this server in a really long time. Jeez. Nope, that's not how it works. There we go. Right. Okay, so we got some sandstone. I need to get kitted out somewhat. I've lost my helmet. I might have to just craft another one and then add the enchantments and whatnot that I need to add to it, which is kind of lame. Also, I'm not sure if Barb has been on the server lately. They weren't on the server when the last time I streamed was, which was like three weeks ago. And stuff was out of stock. How many diamonds is it to craft one of these things? It's f uh, five. Peeps, it's five. And in typical fashion, now that I've crafted this, as soon as I enchant it, I'm going to realize, oh, wait a second, I know where my stuff is. And then I'll find my headpiece. Right, let's, let's go. We're going to the Netherlofts. The Netherlofts have actually changed. The Netherlofts, for those who don't know, that's the communal shopping area on the server. One of a few, but this is the newest one. And so it's the one that everybody uses. Barb sells books. Barb sells books, yo. Sheesh. Why are those so loud? I have a resource pack that makes those quieter. Um, vanilla tweaks. Give me those sweet vanilla tweaks. Spangle Boo says, oh, I missed the server. You missed the server? Did you leave LPMT again? Welcome to the stream, Spangle. There we go. Okay, so now I've got my updated vanilla tweaks. Oh dear. All these lights on? That can't be good. Oh dear. Oh, Barb, where are you gone? What have you done? Okay, so we need... What do we need for brand new headpiece? Spangaboo says, no, I have just not been on. It's been a while since I've been on as well. Oh, wait a second. Can't be stealing books. Don't worry, we'll pay. We'll pay. We're gonna pay. Don't worry about it. Jeez. Spangle, I paid. Okay, well, I haven't paid yet, but I'm going to. There we go. Bam. Respiration, I believe. Bam. Um, right, we got fire protection, blast protection... That, of course, has nothing on it, because it never does. Do 
Do I have a chess piece? A chess piece might be, might be on my alt, and if it's on my alt, that means I can't get to it because my alt is not subscribed to the server. Right, so that has no enchantments. So that's fine. Don't need it. We simply don't need it. Um, what kind of protection should we get then? Regular protection? Yeah, we got fire protection, blast protection. You know what? Let's get projectile. Projectile protection. Right. Have I got all the ones that I need to get for the headpiece? I can't remember how many... Right, so we need mending and unbreaking. I'm guessing those are completely similar. I might have those. Do I have my trident shop box? Or maybe I have something in my Osime carnival box. I have a lot of goodies in there, but not the ones that I'm looking for. Okay. I used to have some enchanted books in a shulker box here. But I might have taken it out and got rid of it. Lapis. Okay. I'll find it. This is not a secret storage. Do not look at my secret storage. How dare you? Oh, actually, you know what? Okay, I gotta stock up these books, actually. So we need three channeling and one riptide. Start with that. Start with that, peeps. I like this song. What did I say? Three channeling? One, two, three. And I believe it was riptide. Yes, it was. Pinky Bear says, sorry if I'm quiet in chat. I'm doing science homework. Goodness me. Did I buy the wrong ones? Okay, I didn't. You're doing science homework. That's a little strange. You're usually doing math homework. Oh yeah, check that out. Nice. And we need four impaling for and one loyalty. All right, so just impaling and loyalty. Four impaling, one loyalty. Let's get it. Whoops, that's too many diamonds. I paid too many diamonds. Was it one loyalty? I don't even know. Well, Pinky Bear, you focus on your science homework. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh yeah, fully stocked. So the nether lofts, I don't know if you would have remembered this or if anybody on stream remembers this if they haven't seen it before and in its current state. But people have come in and like kind of decked it out with some decorations and just make it look super sweet. So now the nether lofts looks pretty awesome. It looks good, I like it. I believe Clementine on the server was the one who kind of spearheaded that project. Oh, by the way, we have some between the stream noises. There was a lot of between the stream because I haven't streamed in like three weeks. Two new follows. Crazy. Who are they following? Doesn't even stream. What are they following for? Right. So we have a follow here from Tivas and Woot Master Bell with the Woot Master follow. Thank you guys very much for the follow. Welcome to the Quack family that was on vacation for a while. At this point, I'm kind of just figuring things out. I'm trying to get myself caught up. Right, so this needs to be... we got to rename it. I always rename my gear. Binky's helmet. Oh, I have no levels. Oh my goodness! You've got to be kidding me. Every time I go to get on this server, I have no levels, and then I get mad and I just quit. And I go play League of Legends. 
How do I get down? I want to check this uh, this area out first. Because there's there might be some new... Ooh, this looks nice. There might be some new shops that I haven't seen in a while. Well, some new shops that I haven't seen, period. Yeah, we've seen that one. Needs more rainbows. Oh, yep, yeah, because it's Rainbow and Autumn shop. It definitely needs more rainbows. Okay, so what's this? This is Betty's shop. She finally opened her shop. Oh my goodness. Selling beacons. Selling beacons. Pinky Bear in chat saying, Yep, I had a keystone. I don't know if you have keystones in Britain, but it's another type of standardized test required. Recently... So my math teacher hasn't been assigning math homework. Oh, okay. I'm sinking in. I'm sinking into a map. Ooh, ah. Check this out. Whoa. Nice. I like the trees. Those are cool. Pinky Bear also saying I get out of school for summer on June 13th, and I leave to go to Portugal trip. Wow, Portugal. That's nice. Uh, Portugal trip. On the 22nd, so when you stream that week, I probably won't be able to come. Perfectly fine. I mean, oh. So this is obviously a quartz shop. Of course it is. Nice. Oh, nice. Portugal sounds pretty amazing. Spangles shop. Happy timber lumber sales. I'm not seeing any timber. Oh, we are currently out of stock. That is obvious. Walmart. Oh my goodness. That's clever, the banner. Hmm. Weasel's Landscaping. That's kind of funny, actually. This is a Walmart with advertisement for somebody else's stuff. Typical. Welcome to Spruce Yourself Up by Java Mouse. Who are all these new peeps? Uh-oh, Spangle. Nobody's restocking their shops. Mending books. Hello. Don't mind if I do. And unbreaking. Hey, don't mind if I do ski. I thank you very much. That's pretty cool. I haven't been on here in a really long time. Everything's all new and new and amazing. Right, where's north? I need to go north. Actually, I need to go south because I need to go to the XP farm. Spangle Blue says, I'll come on and smack them. Please do. Oh? What? Why did I go through the portal? Somebody's made this kind of nice and pretty, though. It looks cool. Who's done this? Does anybody know who did this? Bangle, do you know who did this? Oh, there's a sign. Oh, it doesn't say the person's name. It's creditless. They're creditless. There will be no credits. Oh, did you notice how much quieter that was? Yeah, so much quieter. Vanilla Tweaks has uh, sound reduction tweaks in it. Um, down, 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 down. How do we get down? 
Jeez, I haven't been on this server so long. I have forgotten how to do everything. Do I at least have a boat? I do. I do! And it's an Achacha boat, no less. Good. Pinky Bears says, Do you think you'd know an answer to a question about forms of energy? Maybe. Maybe. I have no idea. That was a coincidence. I did a wave to the to the stream peeps, and I ended up waving at a person who was just going right by me. How fantastic. Give me my boat. Oh, that's another thing. 3D entities. Check that out. 3D boat. You don't even know. It's crazy. Uh, we could try, Pinky Bear. We could try. Take only what you need, not for retail. So you're saying I can't take a bunch of slime balls and go and sell it somewhere? Steel Toad. Steel Toad's the, yeah, that, that's, that's his base. We're actually in his base now. game is so goofy. Right, so let's get our repair things ready. Might as well repair some stuff while we're here. Oh, somebody already claimed, oh my god, somebody already claimed all the XP. Pinky Bear says, okay, the question states, when you lift an object, energy is transferred to the object, which gives the object blank. Um, it gives the object, what's this, the something something object in motion stuff words. Hmm, I don't know about that one actually. It gives it charge. I don't know. Energetic charge? Energetic charge, final answer. I don't know what we're GGing about, but we're GGing. Oh. Tom Johan, GG. Monster Hunter, kill one of every hostile monster. Well, there you go. Congratulations. Shout out to Tom Johan. Maybe it's momentum. It gives the object momentum. Because if you were to continue the same motion and then let go of the object, it would continue in the same direction. That's momentum, right? SMRT. Let's check this music. I don't know if I want to listen to this playlist. Can we do a chill playlist? Is that going to be a little too turnt? I always feel like this gets a little too loud. Let's try it. Come on, where's all the XP? What's going on here? Notice my XP, my rainbow XP bar. How ridiculously awesome is that? Piggy Bear says, I was kind of thinking kinetic energy, but I'm not sure if that makes sense. Well, kinetic energy... Um is when it receives a charge from another object, right? Yeah, that's kinetic energy, right? Energy transferred? I think so. I would go with that. 
That sounds pretty good. I'm confident with that. Yeah, because that's Gambit, who is one of my favorite X-Men. That's how he charges his cards, right? His primary attack is the charged cards. Well, charged objects. He just happens to have a deck of cards. He kinetically he charges it with kinetic energy that he has in him. That he gets from something. I don't know. I don't know. I bought an extra channeling book. How depressing. Binky's helmet. Oh, that's loud. Respiration. Ooh, I don't have enough for that one. We gotta wait a sec. Can you just wait a second, please? There we go. Pinky Bear says, my science note says the kinetic energy is the energy of motion. So that does make sense. Trust the notes. Always trust the notes. Binky's junk. Binky. Oh. Might as well fix these up. I know this is super entertaining watching me repair my gear. It's okay, it's my stream, not yours. I can do what I want. Okay, see, now this is actually chill, this playlist. How long until it gets, like, turned? Until it just, like, busts out the festival music and it's supposed to be a chill playlist, which seems to be what always ends up happening. even online. Let's see. Hmm. Hey, there we go. Mrs. Clementine is online. And then some more people. Shoutouts to the more people. Oh, Miss Clementine is logged off. What a coincidence. What the heck? Oh, you know what's going on? It's, oh uh, jeez, I'm so derpage. I'm so derpage. I'm wearing all my mending gear, which is preventing me from fixing my stuff. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Oh my days, jeez Louise. check my instamarams. Well, we wait. I'm a server owner. It means this is my server. 
No, actually, so the, the colored names are different tiers that you subscribe on Patreon. So this server belongs to a YouTuber. Um, well, it belongs to his community, but um, it was started by a YouTuber called Asumavoid. Um, that's his name. And um, we're still charging stuff, or fixing stuff. Good, okay. Um, so he started up a Patreon because he has his YouTube and gets support through that. And uh, so you can choose a tier at which to support him on Patreon, and that gives you the different colored names on the server. So it's kind of like, I guess like Hypixel has their ranks or whatever that you can buy, similar to that, except you don't really get any extra features on the server. It's just um, the name color, I think. And bragging rights. Oh yeah. Spangle is green. Spangle Boo is green as well. Uh, blue means moderator, so that's Garth. He's a moderator on the server. Uh, the white names are uh, members. Everybody who has subscribed at the um, tier one Patreon, I think. Spangaboo says, yay, green buddies. Oh yeah. Red is admin. Gold is Asuma. He's the only gold one. He's not online. He's never online. That's because he's busy, so. Pinky Bear says, Binky, I was brought here by X a while ago. Of course, I remembered. I knew that. What are you even talking about? Of course I remembered. What I never forget. Holy crap, this farm is slow. What's going on? Is it because there's so many people online? There's loads of pigmen falling, but the XP is not coming up. Is it broken? Is it broken, peeps? Pinky, did you come here in the original raid that I got from X? I think I got raided by X on my first stream that I ever did, which was intimidating as heck because I didn't know what to do with all those people. At this point now, I've been raided a few times by him, so I'm, I'm kind of used to it, but at the same time, it's still somewhat intimidating. I never forget anything, Pinky Bear. Of course, I never forget anything. Oh, this, this thing is charged. It's fully charged. Repaired. Repaired, charged, you know, same thing. It's all the same to me. Bear says, most of them left, but I like you and stuck around. Oh, thank you very much, Pinky. I'm glad you like me. Or at least the streams. Or the derpage. Might just be here for the derpage. Which wouldn't surprise me because you get a lot of derpage with X. With Asuma, Mr. Asuma. see my pores and get real close. Should I just stream this for the next hour and a half? Just y'all staring at my face listening to some chill music. One of my eyes has wonky shades. What the heck is up with that? What's up with that, peeps? Okay, so once this thing gets fully repaired, then we can figure out what we're going to do next. Alright, so we'll put that one away. That's the fortune pickaxe. We can put that one away. And we'll just use that one. Actually, you know what? We'll put that one away. We'll use that one. 
Siricum. I'm not sure if you have to trill your R's in that in Latin. Do you roll your R's in Latin? I'm not sure. But that's Latin for silk. This is my silk touch. Pickaxe. Pinky Bear says, people who joined late will be so confused if you did that. They would be, wouldn't they? They would just be confused. So I'm just going to garbage that. Don't tell anybody. I want to get rid of those two because they're just annoying me. I have so many elytras. Oh, the phantom wings I got from... I got that on stream. One of my previous streams, I got that from... TD, who's online actually. TD4797. Right, garbage, 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 garbage. All right. That seclude, secludes, what? That concludes that task. Okay, the song's gotta go. I don't care for it. It's melodically disorienting if that is such a thing. This one's not much better. What is going on? Oh, James Flamestar, there you go. This one should be good. I'm, I'm familiar with his music, it should be good. How long do you think it'll take for Steel Toad to notice I'm standing here? Oh, wait a second. We gotta get a classic Spangle sniffing. Am I doing it right? That sounds good. That looks good. Nobody tell him. Nobody tell him. These F5s get me so confused. There we go. Okay. Nice. Um, right. Now what? What's happening on the server, Spangleboo? What's everybody working on? What's going on? Spangabu says, I don't know, I'm out of the loop. Well, you're supposed to get into the loop so that you can loop me in. Jeez Louise. Putting that image on Discord, just give me a sec. Where did I just save it to? Uh-oh. I already lost it. Oh, okay. Saved it to pictures. Hey, I found it. Hmm. 
Oh yeah. Nice. Distractions aside. I can still fly, that's good. I haven't forgotten how to fly. It really has been quite some time since I've played Minecraft, let alone played on this server. Oi, who put this rotten flesh in my boo-boo's box? Sheesh, can't trust anybody. Quick, we gotta throw it out. Get rid of it. Oh, do I still have to move a lot of stuff? I do still have to move a lot of stuff. How much stuff... Did I move? Oh, I guess everything without a sign. Duh. I made a new storage room, so I started moving stuff. But if I'm going to be completely honest, and I usually am pretty honest, I don't want to do that. Pinky Bear says, you, Fally, and Rainbow. Got, read those backwards. Uh, you, Rainbow, and Fally are all live. I'm going to go say hi to each one of them. I'll be back. Give me a sec. Say hi to them for me. I saw Rainbow was streaming. She's streaming some League of Legends. Goodness. Seriously? I just found my helmet. I just made a helmet and then I found my original helmet. Did I not say that's exactly what was going to happen? Premium blue pen cubes and a yellow bed. And my boat. Oh, I've just been... At least I got Betty's head. Oh, I've just been crafting all kinds of nonsense that I didn't need to craft, apparently. Oh, get out of town. I found Binky's books. That's... You know what? That's it. I quit. Spangablue says, I was waiting for this moment. Yeah, Spangle. Okay, so the whole leaving was a joke. The logging out was a joke, but it took a really long time to log out, so the joke became kind of a waste of time. It was a joke rage quit. It was a fake rage quit on stream. I'm back, yay! Also casually plugging my stream on the server. Totally intended. What is going on? Why is there a... What is this shulker box over here? I'm so confused. I don't remember putting that there. Oh, this is all stone. Who has stone? Me. Who needs stone? Apparently me. I have a lot of it. I've just been collecting it. 
Ah. Stop it. You know what? Let's go to my island. I haven't been to my island in a while. Where? Oh, it's here. This song is kind of weird. I like it. Let's see if there's been any prankage on my island. Somebody pranked my island! Somebody built this island! What? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Look at these villagers. Pinky bear? Pinky bear? I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Pinky bear says, okay, I'm back. Rainbow said she hopes you're having a good stream. And Fally says hi. Well, good. I'm hoping that they're having good streams as well. I was just making a silly joke, and it wasn't funny. I, I came to my island to see if anybody pranked me. And then I made a joke that somebody pranked me by building this island, this floating island. Which I actually built myself. Well, I actually, I, I built it there, and then I had some help with the terraforming underneath. So, yeah. So, yeah. Oh yeah, Jimbo moved his base, so we tore his base out of here. Most of it, anyways. Some of it. A lot of it is still here. So this dolphin highway we created is now kind of pointless. Are my mobs still up here? Oh, I still have charged creepers up here. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, that... Oh. Oh my goodness, that scared me. Phantoms. We're doing the off, peeps. We don't deal with the phantoms. Oh my god, I gotta... Oh gosh. I gotta deal with this kelp. This kelp farm is fully loaded. Shall I lag the server? Shall we activate a full kelp farm and just completely break the server? Sounds good to me. Our storage is all empty. We're ready to go. Let's do it. At the very least, let's kill our frames. I love watching this thing too, by the way. I love flying machines. We're going to kill our frames, but that's okay. I just love watching this thing fly back and forth. Pinky Bear says, LOL, that's totally a hilarious joke. You know, I know you're being funny, but that's okay. I'll take it. This is some straight-up Hobbit music right here. This is more kelp than I will ever need for anything ever of all time. But I built it because... I don't know. Why, do you, why does anybody build anything on Minecraft? Because he can. Do you need 15 billion boxes of... of kelp? No. No. But that's not gonna stop me. gonna build it anyways watch me oh when the server updates to 1.14 then we'll build it we'll build some stupid like ridiculous bamboo farm and just completely shatter the server that's my goal yeah so the hoppers can't keep up so what's happening here is all the kelp is coming in down the hopper line because these hoppers are all full they just fill up instantly because it's too much kelp. Even though I have hoppers going like, like, well, I guess I could have another couple hoppers, but yeah. There's a lot of hoppers. S 
Sweet. And then I gotta come over here and empty all these hoppers because I don't like to wait. Which is like, well, what's the point of even having all these hoppers then? I don't remember putting those here. Phantom heads. I put that one, that one, and that one. Wait, I didn't put that one. What? What's going on around here? Gimme, 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 gimme. This one's probably full. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's not completely backed up. Okay, good. <laughs> Jeez. Somebody needs to play the game more often. Why aren't people over here doing all my chores for me? I used to sell kelp, but then I stopped selling it because nobody was buying it. Seem like a waste of time. Oh my goodness. Lava buckets. Oh, poo. Um, yeah. Okay, whatever. That's good. Right, let's go put these lava buckets in my lava boxes. Which are back here. And I'll go fill those up, actually, because that needs to be done. Because we're going to fire up, we're going to blow the dust off of the top of these furnaces and fire it up. Pinky Bear says, am I too mean when I'm a bit sarcastic with you? Does it bug you when I do that? Not at all. Nope, doesn't bother me. Perfectly okay with it. There you go. Betty Betty can just chill there. Pancakes? Wait a second. That's not the name. Pancakes. <laughs> okay. I I built this little access point so I could get to the hoppers behind. I'm I play this game so weird. Lava stuffs. Pinky Bear says, good, I just don't want to be too harsh or come off as rude. Never. You know what? Don't even worry about it. It takes a lot to tick me off, I think. Especially if I like someone, then it's even more so a case of like, okay, that's not really going to bother me. So one of these hoppers might have picked up. Nope, I guess not. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Excuse me. That song is mega turnt. Trying to chill out, you got my heart racing. Spangaboo said, That just blew my mind. I always read that as pancakes. 
Did you not know that it wasn't pancakes? I read it as pancakes at first, but then I noticed it wasn't pancakes. I had to do a double take because I'm like, wait a second, they got THE pancakes? How did that happen? You're telling me somebody else didn't get pancakes? The username? Spangle says, I never noticed it isn't pancakes. Well, now I'm just talking. Oh, Voxmap, will you please just get a life? It's forgotten where I am. Well, it's not pancakes. I'm sorry if that just flipped your world upside down. Ooh, flying, okay. Who's a flying pro? I'm a flying pro. Did I bring... Oh, is he angry? He's coming towards me. Okay, he's not angry. I got scared. Oh, these are all full. Why did I bring these? What is wrong with my brain? They're literally awful. Like, what is going on? Also, I kind of like this song, so that's good. Right, so that's fine. I guess we'll fill up one, like two shulker boxes, three shulker boxes, whatever. Excuse me, Mr. Pigman. I'm sorry, am I in your way? I guess technically I am. It's his home, not mine, so. Spangle, it's pancakes. Well, it's pancakes. Lava, please. I need some scaffolding stuffs to build a bridge. Thank you very much. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, my inventory is full. Damn it. That's how you waste lava buckets right there. Bear says that pigman is getting all up in your grill. Jeez. It's all up in my Kool Aid. Sweet. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're paying attention to the inventory that time because, you know, we're just going to end up filling it up and then throwing lava buckets away again. And that's not good. Okay, so we can fill up uh, two shulker boxes, basically. And that's what we'll do. And no one's going to stop me. Except maybe Mike. I don't know. Mike might be working. Metamorphic Mike. He's off somewhere metamorphing. Yeah, pigmen, they like to get up in my grill. Oh, that was the perfect amount for that. Sweet. Check that out. Top quality entertainment. Filling up lava buckets. Y'all came for this. Y'all came for this, I'm telling you. 
I could get some potions and just go swimming in the lava. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Right, we'll do another 16, and I think that should be good. Oh. Placing torches. Placing torches. There's not enough light in here. We gotta place more torches. Pinky Bear says... Does the metamorphic part have to do with metamorphic rock? I have no idea. Possibly. It's quite possible. I've never thought to ask him. Put these. I used to just store the lava shulkers like on the ground here, and then I'd fill up the double chest myself. But then I thought it'd be a better idea to put the hoppers here and just put the shulker boxes like on top of the hoppers, and then they would all empty at the same time, and I would never have to come and refill them. Except when I had to like take the boxes and go get lava, which is fine. So yeah, we got a little bit of overflow, which is good. Pinky says, I should ask him next time I see him in a stream. You should. Ask him for the both of us. Because now I'm kind of curious. Whoops. Whoops. How do you use letters? So yeah, the this, well, yeah. So two double chests here get filled up from this hopper minecart, which goes back and forth between two really, really horribly inefficient but automated kelp farms. Those were the original kelp farms that I had before I built the mega sweeper kelp farm. Pinky says, okay, I've finished all my homework. So I'm just here to chill for a bit. Oh, good, nice. Glad to hear it. Take a while. Oh, see, all my sounds have gone weird. Okay. A little bit bugginess going on in the vanilla tweaks. I can fix it, but I'll fix it later.
Oh, I'm not sure if I've ever shown this on stream. I built this. So up there, the top platform above my kelp farm. Though it, I flew over it earlier in the stream. So that's where I, I like let mobs spawn up there. So I've got some skelly bobs and some zombuts. And then I capture the creepers. Um, up there as well. So that when it gets stormy, I can like go up there and smite them and turn them into charged creepers and then i can send them what i do is i lure them over here onto this little water path thingy and that drops them down into this chamber so i can bring the creepers and the zombuts and then i just ignite them with one of these things and uh, let them blow up and then i get a skull Jessica2901 says, Valley Raid incoming. Indeed, a Valley Raid has come. As you predicted. Welcome, Valley Raiders. I hope you had a wonderful stream with Valley. Welcome to this stream with me, Nikki Quack. Thank you, Valley, for the raid. How's it going, Fally? How was the stream? What did you guys end up doing? Were you playing on the Buttscraft server? Real Fally says, hi, Spangle. Valley also says, I dug up three double chests of dirt. Then I put it back in the exact same spots. Now, why would you go and do a thing like that? That sounds like a perfectly good waste of time. Oh, maybe that was the point. People always say, I mean, you can't really waste time playing a video game like Minecraft because that's the whole point of playing Minecraft, isn't it? To that, I say... Not exactly. It's all perspective. There are things in Minecraft that I don't want to do because I feel like those are wastes of time. But the things I do want to do, I'm about to go on a philosophical rampage right now. But basically my point is like what I like to do on Minecraft, I don't consider a waste of time. So I dispute that statement. I, I don't know who I'm disputing right now. I just had a conversation with myself. Valley said, removing mycelium from my island. Okay, that makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. Did you do it with water or did you dig it all up or how'd you do it? Valley says, about half the island is cleared now. I dug it all up. The water don't work no more. It doesn't work no more? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. When did they change that? Are you guys playing on 1.14.1? On Buttscraft? I haven't really been keeping up to date on on um, Buttscraft. Buttscraft is another server, Minecraft server. And uh, that's where Fally came from. Of course, the people who raided with Fally would already know that. Valley says 1.13.2, updating to 1.14.2 in a few weeks. Yeah, the pre-releases are already out for 1.14.2, so it should only be like, what, a few weeks then? Is that the typical dev life cycle of these sort of things? I was considering updating a couple of the servers in Quack Worlds up to 1.14.1. And I did update one of the survival worlds, but it's not so stable. It's, I mean, it's as stable as I can make it. Stable enough, but still quite a problematic release, if you ask me. Just checking Discord. I had an alert on Discord. 
Valley says, yep, we're doing dev stuff with the pre-release to test it out. Nice. I haven't actually played on 1.14.1, other than what I needed to to set up the server. Oh. Why do I have so much stuff? <laughs> Said no one ever on Minecraft. Why do I have so much stuff? No one ever says stuff like that. Right, we're gonna dye this box. Yeah, we're gonna dye this box green. Binky's dies. What do you think is in here, people? Oh, that's not how you do it. You don't dye it in one of those things. <laughs> Yellow shulker box. No, thank you. Vines. Yes, there we go. Gosh, that's loud. Yeah, I'm hoping 1.14.2 will be more like 1.13.2. Seems like initial releases are just usually not very good, which is interesting because you think they would have figured out how to do it at this point. I mean, no disrespect, of course. I mean, it's still one of the best games. One of the best games that I've played I have a lot of love for Mojang, but at the same time, it's like, come on, can you can you really just get away with these buggy releases? You've got to figure this out. And now we have a Prime subscription resubbed for two months now from Hyper Jimbo. Two months of Prime sub hype. One more month and you'll have the next sub badge. So that's exciting. And we got a Rainbow Raid. Welcome, Rainbow Raiders. And hello to Unwoven Rainbow. Welcome to the stream. I hope you had a wonderful stream. I saw that you were streaming. You're learning League of Legends. I saw that notification shortly before I went live. I've been thinking about streaming League of Legends. Because to be completely fair, I play a lot more League of Legends than I do Minecraft these days. Thank you for the resub, Hyper Jimbo. Thank you very much for the support. It's always appreciated. Welcome to the stream. And thank you, Rainbow, again, for the raid. So that's two raids now. We got Fally and Rainbow. We're so famous. <laughs> Rainbow says, yes. Sadly, we lost every game this stream. It was a fun stream, though. Nice to do something different. Yeah, I lose most of my League of Legends games too, so don't feel too bad about it. It's very much luck of the draw when you do a random queue, it seems like. Because you don't really know who you're playing with, right? You don't know if they know what they're doing. Plus, it's it's different than like, like pro sports, like esports. Watching League of Legends on esports is like a whole different way to play the game. And the main reason for that is obviously because they're very good at it, but it's they're good because they can communicate what they're about to do in the game as well, which is really helpful. I think what what causes a lot of people to lose matches is the fact that you don't really have that like instant communication. So, I mean, that's what it is for me anyways, because I, I play support, so I like to know what everybody's doing, so I can be where I need to be when I need to be there. But if I don't know what people are doing, then it's just, yeah, kind of like playing blindfolded, I guess. But yeah, it's nice to do something different, stream something different. 
That's good. I'm glad you had a good time. I enjoy playing League of Legends. Why are these... Look at this. This is so ridiculous. Why are these shears so big? I'm using the Vanilla Tweaks texture pack and so it makes the shears look different for some reason. <laughs> They're huge. Or is that just... Wait a second. We're on 1.13, so that's not... That wouldn't have changed. Maybe I just haven't noticed that they've always been that big? They seem disproportionate. Maybe it adds more to the duck illusion, because ducks are pretty small. Also, hello, Darker. Welcome to the stream. Throwing some rainbow emotes in the chat. I noticed. I saw it. Rainbow has some pretty cool emotes. She designed them herself, too, which is... It adds an even, like, an extra level of epicness to it. Bear says, how is everyone who just got here? How did you get here, peeps? I know that's not what you said, but... I'm twisting your words. What are you going to do about it? Okay, that's enough of that. Vine farming. We've got plenty of that nonsense. We also have some villagers that we could move over into some houses. But to be completely honest, I don't really want to do that. want to do it, therefore I will not. And you can't make me. It's been a really warm day in London. It's not so great. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's okay. I'm Canadian, though, so I prefer cold weather. Pink Bear says, Binky, do you watch any other hermits besides Asuma? I do. I watch uh, Mumbo Jumbo. I don't watch his streams because I don't really have time to watch a five-hour stream. Which is what he seems to do for some reason. <laughs> Where is... Oh, yeah, we're coming up to it. So, oh my goodness. Yeah, this has been finished. I wanted to see this. This is Agent Fred's, air, like, it's an airship, technically, but it's it's literally a floating city. Like, look at this. This is blowing my existence. Have y'all seen this? This is crazy. What the heck even, like, what? I don't even know how to live looking at something like this. Ooh, flying skills. That's wild. That looks super cool. Pinky Bear says, I prefer cold weather too, and it was hot today. It made me upset. Yeah, I totally get what you mean. The heat is nice. I, I like the heat mainly for like the sun shining and the, like, the freshness that I get from that, which is always nice. 
but I'm not a big fan of the heat. I like Spain's heat. I went to Spain and it was probably one of the best trips I've ever been on. I spent a week in Palma, Palma de Mallorca and Barcelona. And it was incredible. So it was in like super early summer for them. So it's not like, like heat that would kill you. But it was, it was warm and it was on the coast. So they get the coastal breeze, which is always nice because that cools you down pretty good. That's perfect for me. I love that. Uh oh, oops. Don't press shift while you're going down ladders because you'll just fall right to your death. You know what's gonna happen as we descend into this thing? I'm gonna get completely lost. This is way crazy. Who, like, I love this. This is cool. Wild. That's cray cray. Pinky Bear says, did you see what's happening with Mumbo and the Warner Chapel people? I did. It's a pretty crappy situation to find yourself in, I would imagine. And super stressful too, because that's, I mean, that is your full-time job and somebody just comes along and it's just as easy for them to file a complaint and it automatically gives them a portion of like the profits you make from that. Like that is complete horse crap. That sh it should, like, if you want to report or flag content as copyright infringement, I think that it should be addressed by people at YouTube before anybody starts splitting profits. Like, there's no reason that Warner Chapel or any other claimant that wants to come along and say, you know what, this is my content. For the YouTube system to be like, okay, I guess it's yours, and then they just to get a full weekend of like half of mumbo jumbo's profit like that that is a serious problem so yeah i mean could rant about it for a while i guess but yeah i saw it it's pretty crappy i hope he does get it sorted out It might even be in Warner Chapel's best interest to sort it out because somebody like Mumbo Jumbo has a lot of influence and a lot of people who are like anybody who follows a mega influencer is potentially going to be influenced by that person. So he has the power to make things difficult. I don't think Mumbo Jumbo would do that though. Like I don't think he'll turn people against other people because that's that's something that like, sure he'd probably have every right to do so, but it would be kind of spiteful. And I don't see that being as something that like Mumbo Jumbo would do. I don't know, I, th I think it happens to people who it doesn't deserve to happen to essentially. So I hope it gets sorted out. He says it's truly a shame. Yep. Yep, it is. I haven't seen his tweets at all today, but I'm, I'm sure he probably posted some tweets today. There might be some updates in there. Did he... 
Any progress on that situation? My boat went invisible. Pinky says, no way. I don't think Mama would ever do that to someone, even if they did deserve it. Yeah, I think you're probably right about that. Let's go check out the town hall. I don't think I've ever shown that on stream. Okay, town hall station. So this should be where the town hall is, yes? Oh, hello, Enderman. Just hanging out. You do you, my friend. Oh, wait a second. Is it through here? Hmm, I don't think so. I don't remember how to get there. Oh yes, up here. We keep going up. Because we come out of a lake, a, a lava lake. That's the PvP Elytra Arena. pretty crazy. And here's Town Hall here, in fact. Designed by Grace Fool, one of the moderators on the server. Whoa. With this like crazy dragon coming out of the, the lava lake is pretty wild. Mega. Pinky is asking, Binky, I have a question for you uh, for what you'd consider a friend. Like, would you consider me a friend because I'm here a lot and we have conversation like friends and stuff? Absolutely, yeah. I think that, um, yeah. That qualifies as a friendship, in my opinion. Shishwami. That's his name. I don't know where that came from, but that's what we've named him, apparently. Pinky Bear says, Or is a friend only someone you know personally in real life? Uh, no. No, I think a friend is anyone that you enjoy talking to or being around or doing stuff with, I think that is a friend. And so you could have that in real life or like offline life and you can have it in game as well. I think they're both perfectly valid and I think they're pretty much the same. That's what I think. A guest spawned here. Yeah, probably it's not spawn proofed. See, these guys are spawning down here. But only the babies, that's interesting. Is that just a coincidence? How did you get here, babies? Hmm, interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, this place is pretty sweet. I've been in here before, but I think I only came here once, like when I first joined the server, because it was after they built all this crazy stuff in the nether. Pretty cool, I like it. All right, where can we jump up here? Oh, fly, whoops, whoops. 
I thought for a second there my wings weren't going to work. Oh no, they did. Oh, here's the Bloxing Arena. Let's get up inside that. How do we get in there? Pinky says, okay, because I mentioned something to somebody about a friend I had online and they were trying to tell me that it wasn't a true friend. Uh, no. You know, if, if they consider that to be the case, that's perfectly fine. If you disagree with that, then, you know, you both have different opinions on what a true friend is. And I think that's kind of the whole point, isn't it? The song is too loud. I mean, everybody has a different perspective and a different perception on various life matters. And that being one of them, I guess. Oh, there's a VIP box. Let's get up in this gig. Oh, how do we sit? There we go. Spangleboo says it's up to you who you consider a friend. That's 100% what I'm saying. I agree 100%. I think you pretty much nailed it right there. If you hang out with someone or you talk with someone whether it's online or offline then that is you're doing that because maybe you enjoy it then I think that's the only thing that matters really if you enjoy it or if there's some sort of mutual collective enjoyment happening from it then why not that's a friendship so there you can you can Tell your friend who doesn't think that you have a true friend online. That's what I say. That's what Spangle says. And they don't want to argue with Spangle. I know I don't. We should have a bloxing match. Okay. Does somebody want to have a bloxing match? This place is so cool. This is like a wrestling arena. Or like a, what do you call those? The um, boxing arenas? Uh, yeah, the, the bloxing matches are hilarious. I don't know if you've ever seen the uh, Let's Play Minecraft Together video series that Asuma did, but there was a bloxing match in one of the episodes. And it's the stupidest looking thing ever. It's so funny. It's ridiculous. I think they might have rebuilt it a little bit. Yeah, they changed it to glass. This used to be end rods. So it used to look more like ropes, but then they'd always like punch out the end rods because they were bloxing. Like, so bloxing is two blocks, like you have a block in each hand, I guess, and you just punch somebody until they die. <laughs> Pretty funny. Pinky says, true, I probably shouldn't have let what they were saying get into my head. Exactly. Pinky says, I know I never want to get on Spangle's bad side. That's a good stance to take. That's what I'm saying. So that's cool. That's dope. That's the Bloxing Arena. And yeah, I think we should get some peeps over here and have a Bloxing match. Because it's silly and it's fun. Pinky says, okay, I gotta go. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, Pinky Bear. Well, thanks again, always, for hanging out with us in the stream. And you know what? Don't even worry about it. Friends are friends. It's all about what you consider a friend. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. Chances are you and that 
true friend have similar opinions on things? Otherwise, what would you have in common to be true friends, right? Anyways. Talk to you later, Pinky Bear. Somebody didn't finish that floor. Who's responsible for this? I honestly wish I was here when the server started in the nether. That would have been so cool because there's so much amazing stuff. People have just built some cray cray things in this nether. Like what we're seeing is cool, but this isn't even like the main area. I'm trying to find the main area, but I don't know how to get there. Whoop. Let's fly this way. Oh, hello. Yeah, now we're getting into some, some really crazy stuff. Can I please just thank you? Can I please thank you? This is ridiculous. This is so cool. Whoa. Those flying skills. Ow. I broke my face. Okay. There we go. It's the communal stuffs. Isn't there a scary rabbit somewhere around here? I mean, flying over the nether, flying over the lava like I am right now is kind of scary, but at the same time, it's not that scary because I could just die and I mean, I wouldn't lose my stuff because we have keep inventory turned on because we're plebs and we don't like to be hardcore. Or maybe it's even more hardcore. Hey, there it is, the scary bunny rabbit. I knew it was around here somewhere. See, I know things. Don't even question it, I know things. What was I talking about? I completely forgot. Speaking of remembering and knowing everything. Spangle Boo, I found your scary bunny rabbit. Spangle says, it's not scary, he's friendly. He doesn't look very friendly. He's got burning eyes. He's got evil eyes. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Although they are kind of sad eyes. Hold on a minute. Did you make him sad? Is he sad? I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going this way. Is he friendly to other scary bunny rabbits? See, normally I don't come prepared. I have like four rockets to last me the entire stream usually, but I came prepared. I have multiple stacks. Yeah, from that angle, Spangle says, wow, it does look a bit sad from that angle. From this angle right here, yeah. Maybe just a little bit. Also, there's a heart, that's cool. And a face. I never even noticed that's a face. That's teeth and eyes. What is this place? That's the screenshot of the stream right there. Bam. Oh, can we get the heart? Oh, hello. Now you're talking. Now we're talking. You're talking. I'm talking. We're talking. Everybody's talking. That's the screenshot. That looks pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Also, with this shader pack on, everything in the nether just, it takes it to the next level. Hmm, the 
frames are dying a little bit. Unwoven Rainbow says, so nostalgic seeing the nether area. Less so for me, definitely more so for you. I mean, nostalgia, I guess, in the sense that I've seen the videos and I've seen like a super sped up version of its timeline, I guess, because the videos, when I watch them, I watch them in their entirety from start to finish in a couple days. So to me, it all felt like it grew very quickly. But yeah, I mean, having been here in like at the time when this was all kind of happening, uh, which I'm sure you were, that would have been um, pretty crazy. Oh, the music popped up. Okay, thank you. Don't know why you do that, but thank you. Oh, and there's another face. There's faces everywhere. I think what's really cool about the nether is like... What what I think, and, and I think Asuma did this on purpose, he certainly mentioned it in his videos when, when he first inhabited the areas. That like, so things about the nether is that like you have open lake areas and then you have like sort of cave, like I can't remember what he called them, but they're like platforms and then, well platforms that kind of grow out of the walls that sort of create like cave-like areas. I don't know. He used better words than I did, but... To keep the natural shape of the nether, I think that's what made it really cool. Spangle says, it felt so much like a massive community when we all lived together. Yeah, I bet it did for sure. It definitely felt that way in the videos, in the video series. I'm sorry, that's the only experience I actually have with this area, unfortunately. This was before I joined. And there's a guest somewhere over here. Where are you, creepy guest? Rainbow says, mm-hmm. There was definitely more people, but it also made sure we were all close and running into each other all the time. Yeah. I think that's the, the, the thing that I kind of miss in Let's Play Minecraft together right now, is that everybody's spread out because it's all mostly overworld now at this point but it is good to spread out and get your own space um, which is also nice because then you can build out your base and you're not restricted so you can kind of just do what you want when you want in the nether it was more like you claim a space and you, you kind of have to plan ahead to know what you're going to do with that space ah here's the like first bits that were built Okay, my frames are dying. I'm going to take this shader pack off for just a second. Unwoven Rainbow says, Oh, you were at my place. You were just at my place. Yeah, I think so. I think it was was it um, yours and Autumn's place. Where was that? Where did I just come from? Now I'm confused. Up there, I think. Yeah. Whoa, fly. Yeah, it's like right over here, right? Because I was looking at claiming this. Oops, sorry about that. I took out that piece of grass. Because I came up here, I was exploring, and I'm like, I really want to build something like in here, even though I know everybody has abandoned it. And there's this spot here, which I thought could make like a nice little structure with this already nice bridge. I posted about it on Discord, but nobody came forward and claimed it, so I just left it. I think it's probably makes more sense any for me to just leave it as it is because it's sort of like putting it in a time capsule and like letting it be a, a, a part of history. Is it this one right here? There's the gas we were just seeing. <laughs> he hasn't despawned. That's good. Rainbow says, yep. Found it. Hey, there you go. Autumn and Rainbow. Housey house. Hmm. 
I get lost in the nether. When I come here, I just, like, how can you not get lost seeing things? Okay, so like the shopping area was the first bit that I saw. Um, yeah, this is Exus base, right? Or is it? Oh, it is. Did he finish all these projects? Somebody better hold him accountable. <laughs> the derp. The derps of Duke. It's about right. <laughs> Presence galore. You know what you should do? Oh, I guess it's not really that big of a deal. Because if people were going to steal stuff, they probably would have already done it. But, like, you could come and do, like, a core protect region over his gifts area so that nobody can take it. <laughs> Rainbow says, prime spot next to X. And we found it. Lady core protect. song is pretty wild. Okay, I'm actually lost. Like, how do I, how do I get out? <laughs> hey, there we go. Ah, right. This stuff over here got a little bit messed up, didn't it? I feel like this wasn't supposed to be like how it is. I don't know. Oh, also, this is where we had the old statues book. We come and get your book. Doesn't work anymore, I don't think. Yeah. Spangle, did you write your coordinates in here? Oh, I guess not. Yeah, it is super cool to, like, explore and see stuff because I, I, I haven't, like, so I didn't see it all getting built and I wasn't here for that part of it. But seeing it in this, in the video series and then subscribing to the Patreon or whatever and joining Let's Play Minecraft together and then being able to actually, like, physically explore this stuff was pretty cool. I thought that was really cool. It's especially cool to see something like completely nether and then the way it is now, how it's such a huge transition from just the generated nether to everything that they built on top of it. It was super cool. Spangle says, nope, never seen it. Well, geez, Spangle, get online and go put your coordinates in that book. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like you got upside down builds coming out of the ceiling. Maintaining the shape of all of these like platforms and stuff that came out. That's super cool. I like that. People are some crazy builders. Pretty sure I just went literally through that fence. I don't know what just happened. Whoa. Yogi Yogurt Bear has joined the game.
Hey, land. Bam. What was the six months about? Spangle says, oh, my arc is that way. Hmm, you know, with the stream delay and whatnot, I'm not sure which way that way is. <laughs> so, yeah. I've seen your arc, though. I've been there. there. You still have pretty much every mob in the arc, I'm pretty sure. I didn't think there was anything missing. Unwoven Rainbow says, I'm guessing six months of Let's Play Minecraft together. Sounds like a pretty good guess to me. Pixel art with a cake. That's cool. I like that. Spangle says, is there an Easter egg in that balloon still? Um... Easter egg, like the metaphoric Easter egg, or like an actual egg? I don't know. The blue one. Yep, it's there. Should I take it? Finders keepers? That's okay, I'll leave it. <laughs> I'm not the one. I'm not the one that's going to be griefing. Uh-oh. Give me those rockets. Okay, now I'm actually kind of finding or trying to find the arc. I've seen it before, but I don't remember where is it? No, that's not it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, there we go. Okay, I didn't die. I thought for sure I was in the lava, and I was in the lava. Okay. Quick, eat. It's north. Let's fly north. Let's try not to fly in the lava. We're flying north. Oh, what is that? Can't look down or else. Oh, there it is. Found it. Ow. That's a wall. <laughs> I can hear the witch. Uh oh. Mining fatigue. Oh, Spangle, you're gonna have to add the new mobs. Spangle says, oh, I haven't been in there. I've not been there in so long. Yeah. Probably brings back some memories for you. Well, hopefully I don't have to dig my way out because that's not going to happen. Uh-oh. Are they glitching or is there... Oh, there might only be one of those. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the skeletons are dancing. Mobs are kind of funny on half slabs. <laughs> oh, look at these guys. They're jamming out.
Spangabu says, I don't need the new mobs. These were the mobs that were that needed to be saved when the overworld was deleted. Oh, that's Oh, that does it. That makes sense, actually. I didn't know that was the reason that you had the arc, but that totally makes sense. Oh my god, shulkers. I guess they do have to be in boats, don't they? Because they'll just teleport everywhere. They're doing spins. Did they do spins when you built this thing? Is that an update thing? Or do they always spin? They don't... Oh, I didn't know that. I thought they eventually suffocated. I guess not. Oh, and two of these? I may, don't even know how you managed to do that. Jeez. Two of these big fellas. Is there anything down here? Just some pigmen. So I guess if you needed to save the pigmen, they'll spawn down here. You know, so there's that. Rainbow says, well, slimes with the guardians. Yeah, they seem pretty fine with each other. Yeah, they're just chilling. Spangle says, suspicious hole. I noticed that. I was wondering about that. Did somebody try to repair it with hay bales? That seems kind of strange. What kind of wood is that? I might have some wood. I could maybe fix it. Maybe. Maybe. What are we doing? Ooh. Maybe. It's not spruce, is it? Is it spruce? Oops. I think it is spruce. Blew up your charged creepers. Oh, yay, it is. Oh, crap. Well, this is my life now for the next hour. I forgot I had mining fatigue. I'm pretty sure I don't have any milk anywhere. I'd go milk the cows, but I'd have to break blocks to get into the cows, but, and then. That would take forever too, so. Okay. That's okay, this is fun too. Hey, there we go. Bam. Oh dear. See what I'm going through now? I fixed that one block and now I'm being terrorized. Tell you, it's thankless to be a duck, I'm telling you. Spangle says, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Spangle says there's milk near all the food. Mm hmm. Hmm. How long before when you take the milk? I'm gonna take one. How long before they get you again with the the mining fatigue? Or is it instant? Might need to. Might need to. Spangle says it's random. Okay. Right, let's go see if we can recover that stuff. Before the reset. <laughs> right. Quick! Move quick! You gotta move quick! Alright, we got it. We got it. Real quick outro. Bye! <laughs> oh, they got me. Okay.
Well, thanks everybody for tuning in for the stream. I haven't been streaming in like two weeks. It's, oh, and the game's gone. <laughs> I don't talk fast enough. Um, anyways, yeah, so thanks everybody for tuning in. Thank you, Rainbow, for the raid. Thank you, Fally, for the raid and Hyper Jimbo for the resub. And uh, everybody else for just coming in and hanging out. That was a lot of fun. So I'll get back to my regular schedule. So I'll be back on Thursday, probably about the same time. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good day. Have a good midday. Have a good morning. I don't know. Have a good whatever. You just do you. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.